Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my banner.com. Today we got Mr. Outcut and Beta. Yeah, boy, yes, Mr. Post Malone. Post Malone. Congratulations. See that guy, you dig? So, yeah, man, sit back, strap in, be inspired. So, Post Malone was born in Syracuse, New York, on the 4th of July, bah, 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 1995, and when he was 9, his family moved to Texas, yeah boy, yes, man, he always had a love, love for music, ladies and gentlemen, he said, man, he thanks his father for showing him and inspiring, you know, inspiring him to learn different styles at the different ranges, you know, of music, man. And that influenced him, man, while growing up. In high school, he performed in a heavy metal band. Nah, 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 nah. Before he started rapping, man, he, he attended Circus New University or Circus. Yeah, somewhere there. Sorry for that. Yeah, man. And then he moved to L.A. with his friends. Yeah, he dropped out of school, ran away with his friends, moved to L.A. Shortly arriving in L.A., he wrote a song called White Iverson. Hey, I'm sussing, I'm sussing, I'm sussing on you. And then he recorded it two days later, man. And then he posted. Did it to SoundCloud. Yes, I had to do that. He posted it to SoundCloud, ladies and gentlemen, and he became what some would say an overnight success, man. After dropping, man, a year after dropping White Iverson, he opened for Justin Bieber's Purpose Tour, ladies and gentlemen. And then in 2016, he released his album Stony. That's yeah, boy, yes, that's quite a good album. And then he released Be a Bounce and Bentley. That's my favorite album. He had released it in 2017, man. And then he released Hollywood is Bleeding. Da -de -do -do -do. Yeah, man, the guy went from being a broke bum to a millionaire on under a year, ladies and gentlemen. So, yeah, let's get to the life of Post Malone. Hola, baby, mucho gusto. Number one, his stage name was made from Rap Generator, or Rap Name Generator. So, as we know, Mr. Post Malone's real name is Austin Richard Post, man. And he decided to get himself a stage name after writing a few songs when he was 14. And then he went on the internet. And yeah, went to Rap Generator, got himself a name, became what? Post Malone. Yeah, boy, yes. Number two, his first number one song, oh, broke a record on Apple Music, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, man, his first hit on Billboard was, I mean, Bob and Pillars, and, 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 and I feel just like a rock star, with 21 Savage, man, and it broke the single week streaming record having over 25 mil streams in one week ladies and gentlemen so you see the guy is doing it big big number three he used to sleep in the closet before he was famous yeah man before he wrote when I started ballin', I was young. He used to sleep in a closet, man. Yeah, boy, yes, when Post was 18, he dropped out of college and went to L.A. with his friend, Jason Stokes, who was quite averagely, you know, uh, a well-known YouTuber, ladies and gentlemen. And then they formed a group, and they made music together, man. As Mr. Post Malone was rising and getting into the game, he slept at a friend's house in a closet. One time, baby. Number four, he met Kanye West by performing at Kylie Jenner's 18th birthday party. Party and bullish and party. Yeah, man. On August 2015, right after he signed his first record deal, Mr. Malone performed at Miss Beautiful Kylie Jenner's year birthday, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Spicy mommy. And then, man, after that party, later on, you know, he spoke with Mr. Kanye West, the man who was running for being president. And then, man, yep, they dropped a song which was named Fade, and it was on Kanye West's album, The Life of Pablo. Go check out my video on Kanye West. It's quite good, y'all. Yes, sir. 
Number five, his daily crawl, or daily draw, is a Ross Rice. Wraith, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, well, yes, with his newfound success, the man bought himself a $350,000 white Rolls Royce Wraith, baby, mm -hmm. which he calls it his daily driver, man, yes, sir, it's a push button, he says he love the push button cars with the stars and the roof, hey, man, it's the scars and the sky, you dig what I'm saying, you know, you see the sky inside your car, but yeah, man, yeah, man, and that, yo, 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 it was a big step up from his ugly car, which was the Ford Crown Victoria, ladies and gentlemen, which he drove in high school, ladies and gentlemen, and then he also owns a couple of classic cars, man, yeah, boy, yes, yeah, owns some a Ford, also owns a Rolls Royce Phantom which cost around 450,000 <laughs> that's just nothing man we just spend it like that you dig and he got a 250,000 Ferrari Italia <laughs> we got the money we splurged the money you dig yeah yeah Number six, his first mixtape was made when he was 16. Yeah, well, yes, man. In high school, he was named the best dressed and the most likely to become famous. Cause, man, you know, the talent was quite evident. And he was in a metal group and then he moved to hip hop, started killing them bars and bars and bars, man. And then, man, his mixtape was called Young and After Them Riches, man. But later on, yeah, when he got famous, he described his album as, no, his mixtape as trash one time. Number one, he relieves stress by shooting guns. Yeah, man, the man has a large collection of guns. He says he loves shooting them guns, man. Yeah, man, it com he say, and he compares it to hitting a punching bag. He goes to the shooting range quite often, man, and then he has assault guns, assault rifles, shotguns. Rifles, pistols, and two gold-plated rock Glock, 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 Glocks, Glock, Glock. Brand a Lamborghini, fuck a cop. Me, this ain't no guitar. This is a Glock. Yes, sir. He got those. And then, man, he even sleeps with one under the pillow, and he has a rifle on the side of his bed. One time. Number eight, he learned the guitar through Guitar Hero. Malone was interested in the guitar yeah, due yeah, to the band. game Guitar I Hero, like man. Band. And then when he played the guitar after moving to LA, and he says, man, he got five star for every song on pro mode on the game. But he learned how to play the actual guitar through YouTube, man. And he was inspired by Metallica and ACDC one time. Number nine, he owns the only Louis Vuitton Fender Telecaster in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, but yes, Post Malone has a unique collection and it's always growing, man, of guitars, man. Distinctive guitars. And he has a unique super duper Louis Vuitton Fender cast, the ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, well, yes. And Post bragged about it because he said Bruno Mars also wanted it, but he didn't get it. And Post Malone, what? He got a first Bam B one time. Number 10, he has a $3 million mansion in Utah. Yeah, well, yes, Post Malone got a 13,000 square foot crib in Utah because he says it's free country where guns can be carried freely. You can carry a lock freely, man. Motorbikes can move freely and there is seclusion, ladies and gentlemen. The crib has a studio, 30 bunk beds, 4 him and his friends after they party so they can sleep there and man he says it's for him and his girlfriend to plumb and relax one time number 11 he wore a suit every day in junior high yeah man the guy said he wants to look like he's dead so he wore a suit man and you know what he he said he got a fish he's fish of teasing but you know what he said he said he looked fly as a mother of a one time and lastly, number 12, I just want the money, 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 nigga. His net worth is 98 mil. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to my banner.com. A la baby, mucho gusto.